Hello, my name is Todd Hicks. Welcome to this week's Turf Tips. As far as an update this week, there's not much to say. We're still going through about the same weather pattern as we were last week. Mild temperatures both day and night. Not much humidity, and if there seems to be any uh, any, any humidity come in, it seems to be pushed out by an afternoon breeze. Um, although we are going to see a change maybe over this weekend, there seems to be a cold front coming in on Friday, at least for Central Ohio, most of Ohio. Uh, after the cold front pushes out, we're going to jump right back up into the 80s, probably not much more than the mid 80s. Uh, the the key though is is going to be the nighttime temperatures. They're going to stay up in the high 60s, which could mean we're going to have some humid nights. Maybe get this humidity build up so we're going to see some more disease. So if you're weak anywhere or you've got a spray due up, make sure you get it out before this weather pattern comes in. As far as what we're seeing both in the lab and on our visits, dollar spot continues to just slightly increase. It's not really becoming a hazard for anybody quite yet. Uh, no one seems to be behind the eight ball with dollar spot yet. But if we get a big boost in this weather and you're weak on your program, it could be a problem the rest of the season long. We are getting reports and getting samples in of anthracnose. If you've got a history of this problem, heavy in POA, uh, something you might want to think about taking care of or putting preventative spray out for. On the home front, uh, high cut section, the only thing we're hearing right now tends to be, besides people being behind on mowing and making applications, fighting weather, is uh, red thread. Uh, again, I, th I think which, uh, as soon as people catch up with their applications, uh, get mowing a little more regular, um, we'll come right out of this too. Not much else to report this week. That's it for today. We'll see you next week.